is here with us with some of her favorite chef hacks. Anything that will cut through some of the stuff that we have to go through in the kitchen, I'm good. Exactly. Yeah. And I think a lot of people are averse to getting in the kitchen because they feel like it takes a lot of time. But if you have some hacks, yeah. there's no excuse. You got some, like preventing water from boiling over. Let's talk about that. So, yeah. So this is like a time-old tested tip, and it's just putting a wooden spoon on the rim of like a pot if you're boiling pasta or rice. Prevents it from boiling over. I do not know why, but it just works. Really? Yes, science. Man. Hack number science. one. Go. Let's go. Hack number two. This I want to know because this bugs me, especially with crock pots and stuff yes. like that. Getting rid of excess fat from a sauce or a stew. Tell me what you do. So you cool it down just a little bit and you take an ice cube on a spoon and then you kind of just like rub it around the top of the pot just oh, like that. Like a magnet. And huh? you can even like leave it and what will happen is the fat will solidify. It will get cold and then you just scoop it out. Get out just of like here. that. Did you know that? That's fantastic. Exactly. All right, for all you bacon lovers out there, preventing food from browning too quickly. So again, with the ice cubes. So the thing about bacon browning too quickly is oftentimes it's because the pan gets too hot and the bacon might not even be done yet. Yeah, so yeah, what you yeah. do is you just take an ice cube, pop it in the pan, and what this will do is melt, lower the temperature of the skillet, but it won't affect the flavor or the texture of the bacon and the water just evaporates. The, the water's going to evaporate. Yes. Okay, that's three right there. Let's the pot Now... There's a hack, which I did not know. There's a hack for making powdered sugar. I did not know this. This is one of my favorite ones. Okay, because this is interesting. I believe that we shouldn't bring in excess things into our kitchen. Or you and, forgot to buy it. Or you forgot to buy it. Yeah. And powdered sugar is just granulated sugar that has been blended up. So all you do is you take a coffee grinder, spice grinder, put your granulated sugar in, and then just pulse, and like, voila. I did not know that. While we're over here. While we're over here, we're going to talk about herbs. Yes. Okay. We so, always talk about them going bad on the well, counter. And, and the thing is, is like you look away for too long from an herb and it's already starting to go bad. Yeah. So all you do is you put your herbs in a bowl, chop them up, and then pour some olive oil on it. And you want to have them like really well covered. Saturated. Right? Saturated. Yeah. yeah. And then you just pack them really tightly into an ice cube tray. And put them in the freezer. And yeah. then you can just pop it out. And these are good for soups, sauces, stock. Okay, very yeah. good. Cheese. Cheese. Okay, so grated we're going to use yeah. our freezer for this one. Okay, grated cheese. So All right. We've got cheese. And so soft cheeses like mozzarella can be really hard to yeah. work with yeah, because yeah. they're just so soft. So uh -huh. if you put them in the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes, makes it so much easier to grate. And it grates. And you get a little oh. bit more leverage on it. And that's the secret. That's the secret. So... You might cry from onions. I cry from onions. So just put your onion in the freezer for about 15 minutes. And then when you cut it and you want to have a very sharp knife, this is important, you won't have any tears when you cut it because it's like frozen the little like membranes or something so, like that. So it's, it's not about cutting both ends. It's, about, it's not anybody. I mean, you, what like, did you look. learn at chef school? <laughs> well, I mean, it's been a minute. Yeah. But the thing about onions is like, I actually like to grate my onions as well. This is another like hot tip uh. because, and especially if you're putting it in the freezer, if you want to just grate it for like a soup or something that you don't need the onion texture, just the flavor, just the flavor. it's perfect. <laughs> Keeping plastic wrap from sticking. Okay, so stay with me here, people. Okay, here's But she if goes. you put your plastic wrap in the refrigerator, again, I don't know why this works, science, it doesn't stick to itself and it pulls really easy Come and on. then it just sticks. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. We're going to have everything but food in the refrigerator. <laughs> I know. That's a great idea. That is, and you know what? I mean, I have spent so much money on cling wrap that I've just had yeah. to, like, throw out because you cut your losses because yeah. it sticks to it. That's right. All right. The next yeah. one you've got, what? Okay. You've got the extract for the most juice possible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a really good one because if you're making, like, a salad dressing or anything and you need, like, a citrus fruit and you sometimes cut it and it has no liquid in it, put it in the microwave for 15 minutes, and then when you pull it out, just roll it just like that, and it's already, it, like, the juice will just spill it's, out. Oh, my gosh. And then... It's coming out already. When you cut it, be ginger because it will spray on you. Oh, oh my God. Spray it's on you, Marilyn. All, going all and then look the how much out. juice is in that. Wow. Thing. So how much time? Max 
15 seconds. I mean, that thing was coming out before oh, yeah. you cut it. Oh, my God, it's ready. That's right. You don't have to, you don't have to kind of do anything nope, with the fork nothing. I mean, okay. you don't want to microwave it for like, oh, sorry, the cafe Did fridge. you hear that? Did you hear that? Yes. When, it, when you leave it open, it makes a nice little song. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> keep, cut, uh, keep cut fruit from browning. All right. So things like pears and apples, um, they obviously oxidize. So you can use one of two tricks. The first trick is for, like, preventing oxidization for hours. And it's just taking this apple... Like so. Yeah. And then you want the cut side to be coated in lemon juice. But yeah. this is not a great tip if you're feeding this to a kid. I've actually had a kid spit it back out in my face. They're yeah, like, yeah, what? Yeah. Yeah. So instead, you can use just two parts water, one part honey. You mix it in water just like that. And this will slow oxidization. So you'll get hours out of the lemon juice. You'll yeah. get maybe... 30 minutes out So of that this. might be okay for like an avocado, but you're fitting it right directly oh, to the Oh, this is wipe. the only way yeah, for an avocado. avocado. Don't yeah. even bother with Don't that. Don't even bother. Okay. Yeah. Properly cleaning wooden cutting boards. Now, okay. that's, that is a good thing to so, know. So, again, you don't want to be the talk of the town for the wrong reasons. And wood cutting boards, these little crevices hold bacteria. They're so pretty, though. They're beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so what you want to do is take your lemon, just squeeze a little bit of salt, and then you rub like that. Like, scrub it like this is actual, like, a scrubbing. Every, after every use. After right? every use. And I don't recommend ever using cutting boards, like, that are wood for a chicken or anything. But, no. again, because these little crevices get all the bacteria yeah. in there, the lemon and the salt disinfect, and then you just rinse with hot water. Well, you know, uh, we've talked about on the show that not to really use cutting boards like that for any kind of meat. No. But, like, the onion, you had onion, lemon, yeah. gosh knows what else well, you had on there, you right? you cut, like, an yeah. apple and then, or an onion and then yeah. You want to cut an apple? Yeah. yeah. And Bianca, thanks for all the hacks for the two bonus hacks. Bianca Osborne. We'll be right back, everybody. Good job.